the, inter- right. the entertainment. First TV, how'd it feel? Awesome. It's terrific. Especially the dive. <laughs> and not getting the flag. That's the best part. And the picture, too. Got a nice little, uh, mom took a nice little snapshot of it. So, but no, it was good. Felt, felt, felt good. Does that uh, show that uh, you're able to make your contribution now that you you got that touchdown in there and that you're finally gelling this offense is kind of getting together? Yeah. Uh, I think, yeah, that was a little bit of the fruit. Um, I think, yeah, that touchdown was definitely a fruit of part of, uh, you know, contributing to the offense. Um, but I think, uh, I think, I think lots of times, and I, I know I, I have trouble doing this, I kind of forget um, the other ways I'm contributing, whether it's just drawing guys off of Eric or drawing guys off of Brian or Chitty or Chandler. Um, and so, yeah, like the touchdowns whatever, is it what everyone sees. Um, but, I mean, probably more the country, you know, me contributing is, you know, getting these other guys open as well, so. You guys drop your third straight game, third straight road game. Uh, I know the offense played better this week as it did compared to the week before, but I mean, what's your guys' frustration level after dropping three straight games? Uh, it's, I mean, we know we know what we need to do. Um, you know, we still we still have our confidence. Um, yeah, I mean, sure, like you know, no one wants to lose games. I mean, you don't pick, you know, you don't look through your schedule at all. Like, we'll, you know, we can let that one slide. I mean, no, like you know, everyone strives to win every single game. Um, but no, I mean, I think as a team, we're uh, we're ready to go. We're ready to focus on South. Ready to focus on these next conference games. Um, so no, I, I'll, I'll, there's no bad vibes or anything like that. If something, I think, uh, especially after Sunday's practice and meetings, I think there's nothing but uh, just great vibes on the team. Uh, I think our confidence is up. Post game on Saturday, Coach Wade talked about is that was kind of a game that brought togetherness. That yeah. it was like a family feeling. You know, it was so close and it was a struggle. Do you see that as bring a, a game like that bring the guys closer together? Yeah, I think so. And I think with, uh, I mean, really, I think you know, especially seeing like at, at Tulane, um, you know, I think going through the struggles, going through losses, brings the team together more so um, than just everything going according to plan. Um, and so I, I think it was definitely one that uh, we re- we really grew more so in the locker room rather than. Um, you know, just playing on the field. And that's really what will get us more wins is growing together in the locker room. Got a tough team coming up, a conference opponent, but uh, South Alabama team that used to not be a team to look at as, as tough. Yeah. This season has shown that they've grown up a little bit and are a tougher team to play. How are y'all preparing for that? Uh, just watching film, watching film, getting getting to uh, know what they do. Um, you know, offense, we got to read their coverage, read their, uh, you know, their stunts. Um, and, and see what their what their habits and instincts are. Um, so yeah, just you know, lots of time just learning about them. So. Is it safe to say that you guys are glad to be home? Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. It's all, it's always good to return home after a long uh, road road schedule. So. Of course, it's homecoming. Uh, does that add any added distractions to this week for you guys, or even game time? Ah no, I, I mean I know for me personally, I, it's never been. I mean. Whenever homecoming comes around, it's just like, all right, I mean, cool. That's what, whatever's happening. I don't, I mean, I hardly even know what's happening on campus. You know, I'm just thinking about just the game and just getting through my classes. And um, so, yeah, it's just, I mean, it's just another game. Just looking forward to playing it. You guys averaged 34 points a game, yet you've only won two games. I mean, how frustrating is that from an offensive standpoint that it's not enough to win? Um, I mean, yeah, it's, it's frustrating. I think sometimes you can get too satisfied with playing good um, rather than, um, you know, sometimes like we, we, we put hard work in and, um, and, uh, and yeah, we're putting points up, but we, you know, we, need, we need to get better at, at that. We need to put more points up. We need to work harder. Um, I mean, you can never stay complacent at a certain level. You know, if, whenever you get to that point, and that's when you know the season's going to be tanked or, um, or even in, in the business world, you know that, that business is going to tank if ever you stay at a certain level. You should always be striving for a new standard every single week. Corey, does it help your does it help the team's confidence knowing that these three losses haven't come against Sun Belt teams? Yeah, I mean, yeah. Uh, if you, I mean, that's the best way to think about it. Uh, if there is a good way to think about these uh, last three road games, just the last road trip. Uh, you know, it was uh, brutal uh, from a mental standpoint, losing-wise, which is something that we had no plans of doing. 
Um, I feel like this last game, you know, we had it. We we were close again, uh, which is not acceptable. Um, we just got to find a way to, you know, score that last touchdown, score that next touchdown uh, instead of that left field goal and then scoring a touchdown. So um, I feel like, you know, we're, we're doing okay. Uh, we're doing decent on offense right now. Um, I feel like the defense picked it up a lot in the second half of that game. I feel like they, they held them to a touchdown, I think, in the second half, which is really great. Um, so if we can just continue to carry uh, the momentum into this conference uh, play, which starts this week, it's going to be big. And we we, we got to just uh, we got to have a good week, man. Just like uh, against UAB, you guys had to keep battling with them, keep having to stay with them. But, you know, on the other side of the ball, they kept giving up big plays and they put you guys in an early hole. I mean, how tough is it to just keep trying to get your way out of that hole constantly? It's uh. You know, it's a it's a constant it's a constant battle that we have to face. Um, but with the way football is changing, you know, all over uh, the United States, I think that's just how it's going to be uh, uh, from now on. <clears throat> I mean, you're seeing even some of the old school powerhouses that are trying to get their teams to go up tempo too now. So I mean, that that's often that type of offense is just so hard to stop. Um, and you know, I, I know that they're out there giving their all just like we are to keep up with the other team. Um, offense. So, I mean, we just got to continue to work and, and hopefully some things will start going our way breaks wise. If we can catch a couple breaks here and there, things will be a lot different. Um, uh, you know, as far as as far as keeping up with the other team, I feel like we have the, the athletes and the talent to do that. We just have to continue to get better and practice and limit our mistakes like we did last week. Well, you know, three, three, three losses in a row uh, will will make you think about yourself and and check yourself after a three and nine season that we went through uh, two years ago. So, um, having a players meeting yesterday, uh, you know, we just had to sit down and reevaluate ourselves from what we what we've shown and what we thought we were uh, coming out of camp and what now we need to do to continue to move forward to get back to a bowl game and, um, you know, and a chance at a Sunbelt Conference Championship, which is still very possible if we win the rest of our Sunbelt games. Um, so, yeah, I feel like after our meeting yesterday, I feel like everybody's on the same page at least. Um, all the guys, their minds are, you know, in the right place is just win. If not for you, if not for your teammates, if not for coach, you know, I mean, do it for something. Uh, is basically what we got to. Uh, you don't got to do it for us. You don't got to do it for anybody. You know, just do it for something, and that's what we're to. You got conference, going back to conference play this weekend. You got South Alabama coming to town. How crucially important with the losses in conference and being back home is this game? You know, I'm glad to be back home. Uh, I'm glad to play somewhere that we're familiar with. Uh, so we're 2-0 and at home. Played some good games at home so far. Uh, we just need to let that uh, carry over into this week, man. You know, this is a big game for us, an in, in-state game. Uh, this, this game carries over a lot more than what some of the guys realize, uh, recruiting-wise and all that kind of good stuff. So we, we need to have a good week, and we need to go out there and uh, play the best football that we're capable of. Absolutely, absolutely. They're much improved. Uh, I think they actually lead the conference in interceptions uh, from the secondary wise. So they're they're talented over there. They've got good coaches. Uh, they're a good football team, and they've got nothing but better. You know, they keep they keep coming up, um, and they beat Western. I think so. We got our hands full. Uh, the big part. I mean, the good thing about this week is I think that after our meeting, that everybody's going to be uh, mentally prepared, and that's been one of the biggest things that we haven't had. And as long as everybody's mentally prepared and takes these guys serious, which we very much are, because they're a good football team, um, you know, it's going to be it's going to be a, it's going to be a good football game any way you want to look at it. It's homecoming. Uh, any added distraction to be, being a homecoming game? Not for me, man. I'm old now, so I've been here a while. Uh, I just sit at the house and I don't do much anyway. So I don't. I mean, it's not much of a distraction for me.
three straight road losses. You know, how, how excited are you guys to be back at home, a place where you're 2-0? Um, I'm very excited, you know, because when we play home, when we go, when we come home, we play very hard, you know, and that's a good sign. Um, I think uh, if we pull this game out, you know, everybody's mindset will change. You know, even um, everybody, the team, uh, fans, everybody, you know, so uh, I'm very glad to play, be home. What's been the toughest thing about playing on the road this season? <sighs> everything, everything uh, from fans, from refs that you're not used to, um, you know, um, the, the, the opponents, you know, everything's hard. Uh, we just had to, you know, it ain't classified as being hard. You know, you just have to overcome, you know, uh, do what you're used to, you know, um, do what we, you know, what got us here. You know, that's that's all it is. Do you guys feel like you're preparing the right way for the road? You know, uh, yeah, just like Corey said, after uh, the meeting we had yesterday, to see if everybody was on the same page. Um, yeah, I think from now, and it was going to yesterday's practice, yeah, I think we're on the right page, you know. I think we're practicing pretty hard, you know. We just got to see how the rest of this week turn out, you know. We can say we're going to do something, but we got to really prove it, you know, and that's what we tried to establish yesterday here at the meeting we had, you know. And um, but like I said, so far, you know, it's going pretty good. What's something that you guys talked about in the meeting that personally stuck with you? It stuck me. Um, the seniors, they were, uh, they were saying, like, um, you know, if you don't want to be here, you know, um, and if you don't want to play, you know, you know, don't do it for – you know, us, don't do it for the coaches, don't do it for, you know, just do it, do it for the people or, you know, just do it for the people that, that came before us, that put in all the hard work, that, that got the championships or the conference championships before us, you know, think about that, you know, um, um, because, you know, we're representing them too, not as ourselves too, at school, we're representing everybody that, that attended Troy University, you know, that really stuck, you know, um, and I've just been thinking about it for the last pass, uh, uh, since yesterday, I have, I've been thinking about it, you know, and um, I'm trying to. And then, like a senior said, um, and you know, you don't really think about it, you know. Some people after this point, you know, they ain't have nothing to do. They're just gonna go to a regular job, you know. Their football career might be over, you know. And um, we only got seven weeks. Seniors only got seven, seven more weeks, you know. And um, and so, you know, we had to play for them too, you know. And I want to play for them, you know, just to you know pull the season out, make it a positive. You guys can still go to a bowl game. You guys can still win your conference. It all gets back on track on Saturday against South Alabama, homecoming week. Just talk about this game upcoming and how big of a game it is. It's a big game. You know, uh, it's bigger than any other game because we just came from straight uh, three straight losses. So it makes it even a bigger game. You know, um, even though it's a conference game too. Um, you know, we we got to win this game. You know, um, like I said, uh, we win this game. Everybody mindset change. You know. Um, you know, I'm not, and we don't want to take a lot, um, take a loss. We're not going to take a loss. You know, um, we're going to try to pull this game out. You had your most effective game rushing the ball, I thought Saturday. Uh, is that a just come from getting more familiar with the offense, getting comfortable with the playbook? Uh, what, what are you attributing to? Yes, sir. You know, um, getting comfortable. You know, um, I'm out for the first past couple of games. You know, um, I was feeling sort of like, you know. You know, I, I got to get used to how to line block, how, you know, this, how to, the momentum of the game, you know. Um, people say, people can't say, you're not used by it now, all the stuff y'all do. No, you can never get used to the game, you know. It takes a minute, you know. Um, I think that was my best, you know, like you said, best efficient game, you know. I just felt comfortable, you know. Um, I started to try to, I tried to change a lot of stuff I did, you know. Um, getting a little bit away from, from the, uh, with from the quarterback and line up farther, farther back so I could see more of, my view, my view can be more, you know, open, and it seemed like it helped, you know. So when I get the ball, I can have a little bit more time to make a decision instead of instead of uh, being close, getting the ball and being too close to the line before they can make their blocks, you know. And I think that uh, that would help me a lot to read a lot. Thanks, Brad. Yeah. Marty Stephen. Marty, this offense has been scoring 34, 34 points a game, yet the defense is allowing thirty five. Do you guys feel like you guys? kind of you know, holding the offense down a little bit? Nah, we don't feel like we holding the offense down. We just got to help them out some more. Uh, we just haven't put together – we just haven't got together as a unit yet. But I felt like we started to build on that from the loss this weekend because I felt it as a team defense yesterday, how we played on Saturday. So 
We just got to do a better job, really. Can't you guys say you haven't gotten together as a unit yet, but yet you've played five games. That's scary at all? No, nah, it doesn't. Not at all, because sometimes it takes a little longer than some people to bond together, I guess. I, don't, I have no idea what's going on right now, but we're going to get it together. I, f I feel that way. Well, but some might say that you started to on Saturday. Obviously, towards the end of the game, probably some of the best defensive uh, performance you've seen. Y'all were able to hold them and allow the offense to get a chance. Does that give you guys confidence that you're able, to, especially in a game like that that's so close on the line, you're able to come together and work hard for, towards that goal? Yeah, that's when I, I felt like we had got an attitude towards the end because uh, nothing was going our way, and we just was like let everything go, and we just went out and got got after it. You know what I'm saying? Just had that that the attitude, the swag, just started. You started to feel it coming from everybody. So that that was pretty big. So that's why I feel like pretty confident going into this game this week. And that's something that the momentum you feel will carry over to the next game. Yes, I do. Now, uh, talk about this Saturday. Obviously, it's a big game, conference game. You're back home again. Is it good to be home and good to have to face a conference team at home? It's always good to be home. Uh, we like playing at home. I see we do a lot better at home with our home crowd behind our back. So, yeah. Now, conference, this is a pretty, pretty big uh, thing for you guys. You want to win conference. So, it, how important is this game on that level, this conference game? Uh, it's pretty big to win every game to me. That's how I feel. Even though it's a conference game, I feel like we still got to go out and win it regardless. You know what I'm saying? Nobody likes to lose. Like, I don't like losing at all. So conference game, non-conference game, it don't matter. I just want to win.